So the Bowen's reaction series is this Y-shaped reaction series looking at basaltic magma and how it cools. And when it cools down, you have this formation of different minerals, different temperatures. So there's two branches and the hotter range of the magma, there's a discontinuous and continuous. On the left, we have this olivine, which is the basic uh, mineral that's first formed from the cooling magma at 1400 degrees. Then it gets melted back into the magma and added to with a silica, which is, forms peroxine, and that in turn melts and links and connects with more uh, silica in the magma to form amphibol, and finally biotite at the cold temperatures. As you can see, the silica tetrahedra becomes more and more advanced through polarization and the addition of the magnesium or iron in this discontinuous range. On the other side, with the same kind of temperatures, you get the feldspar, the plagioclase feldspar, forming from anthrite at the hottest, which is purely calcium with the silica and aluminum, then down colder temperatures of albite, which is going to be a more sodium uh, percentage, and this happens around 1150 degrees Celsius. Then both branches combine in the magma to form three separate minerals, the potassium or alkali feldspar, which is similar to the pot potassium feldspar, a bit colder formation, more bonds, larger silica. And then you get muscovite, which is the mica group, which is more white, different from the black biotite at the cold temperatures with more uh, potassium included. Quartz, which is our final mineral to form in the colder temperatures, which is purely the silica dioxide, which is left over from all of the different minerals, taking out the elements from the magma. So you're left with quartz with the three-dimensional framework, very hard and high energy required to form this mineral with a very high melting point. As you can see, the temperature ranges from the high to low from 1500 down to around 650 degrees. And that's what Bowen found in 1922 were these different minerals, these common minerals that were rock forming minerals and how they form different temperatures within the magma.